Here we're going to look at the biological species concept. So how do we get a group of individuals that's a subset of an original population, and why is that advantageous? And we'll go over some of the reasons of why this occurs. So to start, speciation is the process of species forming process. It involves progressive change, and localized populations become increasingly specialized. Natural selection acts to keep them different enough. So we kind of get this splitting effect that occurs. Now, biological species concept is defined as species are groups of actually or potentially interbreeding natural populations, which are reproductively isolated from one another, other such groups. So we're kind of getting this separation that occurs, and this can happen in two different forms. So it is a two-part process that causes this initially to occur. One, identical populations must diverge. And two, reproductive isolation must evolve to maintain these differences. Speciation occurs quicker in the absence of gene flow. This is much more likely in geographically isolated populations. So here we have our formation of low fitness hybrids. We have selection against those hybrids. And over time, we get a clear and distinctive green and blue population. So this hybrid, this intermediate, was just not um, fit for the particular environmental conditions. And our speciation occurred, causing a distinctive green and blue species to develop. So there's two types here, and this picture is a great way to visualize them. Um, allopatric speciation, which is the differ differentiation of geologic geographically isolated populations into distinctive species. We have a population here, let's put that into a picture, and we have a mountain region that's separated out. We see here, geographically isolated, we have our darker colored green and then our lighter colored green. Sympatric speciation is the differentiation of populations within a common geographical area into distinct species. So this is a reproductive isolation that's occurring. We see in the middle region here, uh, presence a greater number of lighter green trees than the darker greens on the outside. And this is reproductive isolation that's occurring. The, through the sympatic speciation. So types of speciation. Um, auto polyploidy. Instantaneous sympatic speciation may occur through polyploidy, which is more than two sets of chromosomes. Auto polyploidy are all the chromosomes are from one species. This occurs when an individual has more than two sets of chromosomes, which would be 4n, all derived from the original species, which would be normal diploid or 2n. To break the word apart, Auto polyploid is self many folder chromosomes. How does this occur? Well, it's the failure in meiosis causes the chromosomes to fail to separate. So you're getting this kind of 4N or tetraploid. Um, again, this isn't always a good thing to happen, but in certain um, instances, plants in particular, autoploid can occur. This is a type of speciation. That zygote is tetraploidy or basically 4N instead of the original diploid, which would be 2N. The other type is allopolyploidy, which is chromosomes derived from two species via hybridization. This, in particular, is much more common in plants than animals. And this occurs when two different species contribute to the polyploidy hybrid. So interpacific hybrids, hybrids created from two different species, are usually sterile. However, the hybrids are usually very vigorous. So how does this apply? Well, getting common polyploidies um, oats, cotton, potatoes, tobacco, wheat crops typically fall into this category where we're looking at producing increased yields. And because they're sterile, sometimes these individuals may produce reduced or no seeds, which is advantageous for the customer. So not only is the farmer getting um, larger and more consistent crops, but the offspring being produced might be more favorable to the people buying it. Here are just some examples of biological speciation.